Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another movie reaction and commentary. And today, we're going to be hopping into a film I'm pretty sure all of you guys know, and that is going to be Groundhog Day. Um, yeah, I, I think I've seen something uh, similar to this, which was, I think, uh, Edge of Tomorrow. And I know of Groundhog Day. I, I've, I've heard of it. I just never sat through an entire sitting with it. So I believe this is the premise where, you know, the day keeps repeating. There's like repetition. You guys know what it is. I know what it is. I'm just letting y'all know that I know of what this is, but I don't know the finer details in within it. Now, uh, what we're focusing on primarily with this film and what we've been focusing on with other films that we've watched on this channel is screenwriting. How does screenwriting transform? How does it create? How does it break the foundation of the film that you're presenting or the story that you're presenting? And there's a lot of examples that we've watched from other movies on how they incorporated that. And I hope that you guys find the time to check them out, even if the films are just more unknown, if they're a little bit underrated. I know this one's a little bit more popular, but I really do encourage just you guys to check out, even for a little bit, just some of the films that are a little bit lesser known or uh, a little bit dated, I should say, um, because there's a lot of lessons to be learned about that. And I think uh, everybody can learn some value from it. But yes, today we're going to be hopping into Groundhog Day and seeing how the screenwriting works within this film. It's interesting. I feel like there's a way for them to be able to do it. And I feel like they were probably successful considering that, you know, it was pretty well known and pretty popular uh, after its release. But it's like, how do you play with the concept? The concept is creative. The concept is very fun. I don't think it's been done um, prior to something like this. Not too sure, but you guys can let me know if there is a Groundhog Day before the Groundhog Day. So yeah, I'm gonna you know stop talking too much. I'm gonna let myself just enjoy this film. Finally, I get to watch through it fully. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see what you guys have to say about this film in terms of what we talk about and um, kind of like how you feel about this. I know in a lot of hearts, this film is placed there just because of just when it was released. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be definitely interesting. As always, if you want to be able to support the channel, the best way to do that is through Patreon. You can check out all the uncuts, all the early access, and then you can also just engage with the community that's there as well too. And I am going to be putting on some really cool content outside side of the reactionary commentary uh, side of things and involving you guys a little bit more with the practice that I preach, you know, the the, the art that I work with and bringing you guys along that. So yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting. I'm excited about that. But yeah, uh, if you want to be able to support the channel else so in another matter, uh, you can by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. And at the end of the day, you don't have to do any of those things. Just sit back, relax, get your popcorn and snacks as we hop into Groundhog Day. All right. Again, if you guys want to be able to watch and hear all that I have to say about these films, you guys know where to find it. I say it every single time to the point where I think you guys have been indoctrinated into your brain. <laughs> if you want to be able to see and hear all that I have to say about this film, check out the Patreon link below. You can seek up your copy with mine and have a blast. There tomorrow, gang wars and some very overpriced real estate. Mm -hmm. Up in the Pacific Northwest, as you can see, they're going to have some very... Bill Murray, man. One of the people I would love to meet in my life. Say strong, Bill. <laughs> Festival. So, as you know, according to the legend, tomorrow, February 2nd, if the groundhog wakes and sees a shadow, we've got six more weeks of winter to look forward to. So keep your fingers crossed. Huh? That's crazy. That's such an interesting concept. I, to this day, don't know where exactly that came from. The groundhog saw a shadow. I know a groundhog. It's probably just like, what the hell are y'all talking about? <laughs> your network interested in me. Yeah, that would be the home shopping network. Thanks, Larry. Go. That should do with the hand from Scary Movie, isn't it? <laughs> mm -mm. She's fun, but not my kind of fun. I will be here for the five. Rita. Man, this is this is put together like a movie of, it, of its time. <laughs> All the beats and everything. <laughs> it's good. I can't knock what works. Are you kidding me? But damn, I can I can feel when this came out. <laughs> That's a good thing. It's interesting. I wonder if they're showing these shots only for us to kind of see the same shots later on in the film. <laughs> What's the matter, Phil? I hate this place. I stayed here two years ago. I was miserable. It's a flea bag. I'm not staying here. You're not staying here. 
There's such an interesting animosity towards the character and this location. <laughs> he has PTSD from doing this damn Groundhog Day. No, thank you. I've seen Larry eat. <laughs> oh. You get your sleep. Stop, bro. Stop. <laughs> I I really don't know um... how to spell. This looks fine. I damn. hope you enjoyed the festivity. He's a little bit of a douche. <laughs> coming up out of the south by midday is probably going to push on to the east of us and at high altitudes it's going to crystallize and give us what we call snow i wouldn't doubt that there's probably something unique about that weather you know now don't you tell me you don't remember me because i sure as heck fire remember you not a chance <laughs> ned it is going to be interesting seeing all of these events you know multiple times <laughs> If that's how they're going to go about it. I'm not even sure if that's how they're going to go about it. Watch out for that first step. It's a doozy. <laughs> yep. I'm pretty sure that's going to come into play. <laughs> I feel like I'm cheating because I already know the concept. But you know what? There's nothing you can do about it. You're behind a computer screen. I don't know why I'm attacking y'all. <laughs> the guy comes out with a big stick and raps on the door. They pull the little rat out. They talk to him. The rat talks back. And then they... This is cracking me up. He's calling this thing a rat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look at this groundhog. It's like, what the... <laughs> Pucks of Tawny. Well, you can go ahead and freeze to death. So what's it going to be? I'm thinking... <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> he said he was thinking. <laughs> the sarcasm with Bill Murray is hilarious. <laughs> okay, campers, rise and shine, and don't forget your booties, because it's cold out there. Today. It's cold out there every day. What is this? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's happening. It is happening. The Genjutsu has started. <laughs> I'm really interested if they're going to actually go into how this is happening. I really do wonder. Or they're just going to completely just ignore it and just say, yeah, that's just what happens. <laughs> Ned Ryerson. Bang! Oh, first shot right out of the box. So, how's it going, old buddy? Man, that is so weird. That's weird. It was weird in Edge of Tomorrow. <laughs> actually, it was crazy in Edge of Tomorrow. But it is... Surprisingly, just as shocking here. <laughs> it's like, what the heck? It's like the camera pulls out of the town and it's actually the groundhog strapped to like a lab. <laughs> uh, scientists are like using the groundhog for like <laughs> time manipulation. Jesus, imagine waking up and you're in a and you're in a nightmare. You're in a never ending nightmare. <laughs> you would think that you would have died or something. Like <laughs> I would have thought I died. Groundhog Day today. Okay, I'm waiting for the punchline. No. Really. This is the third time. Yeah, have fun explaining this, man. <laughs> Have fun explaining this. This, this is such a foreign concept to anybody. Abnormal psychology. So, what do I do? I think we should meet again. How's tomorrow for you? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, you are not listening to me. You are not listening to me. <laughs> I mean, at this point. After my third day, I would just go around and have fun. Give me the keys. Friends don't let friends drive, right? Come on, stand up here. Take a deep breath. You feel okay? Really? Okay, you're all right. He said, friends don't let friends drive. I just realized what he just said. <laughs> what? <laughs> tomorrow. No tomorrow. That would mean there will be no consequences. There will be no hangovers. We could do whatever we wanted. See? Ah! 
See, this is my friend group, I guess. <laughs> I would just go around and just do anything and everything. This is, this, this chase is hilarious, man. Like, what? Yeah. I'm betting he's gonna swear first. <laughs> My man's playing chicken with a train. <laughs> oh, dude. I don't think I would do all of that, especially when there's people in the damn car. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he just, he slowly falls in love with this idea. But just like everything, it, it grows stale after, after a while. Hey, Phil? Phil? Hey, Phil Connors, man. Damn. Damn. <laughs> That's funny as hell. He really just socked him. <laughs> sure thing. Is real nice. Just put that anywhere, pal. Yeah. Good save. <laughs> I mean, one way to prove to her that this is real is just to start saying what everybody is saying before they say it. In 12th grade, your English teacher was... Mrs. Walsh. Mrs. Walsh, yeah. Nancy. Lincoln. Walsh. Okay, thanks very much. Hey! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> this dude's... That was a creepy, savagery way of doing that. <laughs> I'm not even mad at that. <laughs> Lincoln High School. I sat next to you in Mrs. Walsh's English class. Oh my God. <laughs> he's such a, he's so, he's, that's, that's, I can't even get mad. I'm not even hating on that. But yeah, I mean, this is going to get stale real quick. This dude. <laughs> this dude, man. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this dude just nabbed him. I mean, but you can't do anything with the money because when the day's over, you start again. Fiance, I didn't remember me. Yeah, you, 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 <laughs> you would definitely develop some crazy, just main character syndrome. <laughs> it would be insane. Well, first of all, he's too humble to know he's perfect. That's me. He's in. <laughs> He said, that's me. Water. For you, miss? Sweet vermouth in the rocks with a twist, please. <laughs> wow. Wow. Damn. That's so much time. That's just so many days you would have to... Jeez. It's interesting that he's finding a deeper motivation in between these days, then. And that deeper motivation is coming in between with this girl. That line sounded crazy. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> that was insane. It's the buildings in the afternoon. Well, what should we drink to? I like to say a prayer and drink to world peace. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. This dude is just crafting out reality. That's insane. <laughs> Even the dude's like, golly, brother. <laughs> How about you? Oh, I agree. I just like to go with the flow. See where it leads me. What's led you here? Mm-hmm. Damn. Yo, he is playing her like a fiddle. This is insane. <laughs> That's insane. Damn, so do decisions? Like, just picking the right choice down the right path? Is, is that what it takes to manipulate reality, I guess? It's interesting. I wonder if there's just any 
constants, you know? Maybe some things that he just can't seem to change. Believe it or not, I studied 19th century French poetry. La fille qui j'aimerais, c'est la comme bon fin. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> this is not right. <laughs> oh, damn. Bless her heart. She is getting toyed. Get you. I haven't done this since I was a kid. Me neither. It's fun. But then again, it's like, you know, like when he gets to the top of the hill, wherever he's trying to get to, the day's over. And you have to start again and again and again. Wonderful room. It is now. He did it. Congratulations, man. You 4D chest your way to kissing this girl. <laughs> now you're gonna have to do it again when the day ends. Congratulations. Really, Phil, I'm tired. We can see each other tomorrow. No. Tonight. Oh. It's gotta be tonight. No, Phil, really. Mm. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is getting weird. Ah, this is getting weird. Ah, cringing. I'm cringing. Fudge. Yuck. No white chocolate, no fudge. What are you doing? Are you making some kind of... Oh, yeah. No wonder he's so damn bold. I keep forgetting that he's probably lived like a hundred days by now. He probably doesn't even care. Oh, my God. That's creepy. Damn, I guess this is the constant that we were just talking about then. <laughs> Jim, what is Titicaca? Correct. Lakes and rivers for a thousand. Milky colored from what glacial clay when entering Lake Geneva. This river is clear blue <laughs> upon... <laughs> I don't know why he just doesn't show this example to the girl. I don't know why. Or just to someone, you know? As long as this groundhog keeps seeing his shadow, I don't see any other way out. Oh, what if he tries to, like, what if he tries to do something with the groundhog? You know? What if the groundhog is the epicenter? <laughs> hey! Hey, what are you doing? Hey! Hey! Oh, man. The, 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 <laughs> the, <laughs> he was just so casual with it. Well, we mustn't keep our public waiting, huh? It's showtime. I was not ready for that. I was not ready for that. Oh, I'll just say that. What? <laughs> oh, he's dead. Yeah, he's gonna die. You can't come back from that. <laughs> Holy crap. Holy crap. That's like instant death. That's wicked, man. That's wicked. <laughs> it's even crazier than the Edge of Tomorrow, because at least he was fighting aliens. This dude's just... He's just ending himself multiple times. Because it's just... Every day. You go to a lake in the summer with your family up in the mountains. There's a long wooden dock and a boathouse with boards missing from the roof. And a play yeah, that dude's hat in the background is distracting me. <laughs> it's a red hat right there. God damn. <laughs> doesn't make any difference. I've killed myself so many times. I don't even exist anymore. Well, sometimes I wish I had a thousand lifetimes. That line is crazy. I'm not sure if it's just because of the texture of this film, but this is a dark story. <laughs> like, like, this can be pretty dark. Damn. Damn. That sucks. That sucks. It's interesting seeing the evolutions he's going through because of this. Again, we just pan out and <laughs> this whole town is just a CIA experiment. He's actually on Area 51. <laughs> I'm with a student now, but if you want to come back tomorrow, I can probably... Well, I kind of want to get started. 
I could give you a thousand dollars. She's like, you can just take the piano. <laughs> Oh my god, why are they lingering on the shot with her? Oh my god. Mm. Damn, that's interesting. So he knows this character, it, like, it's this, it's, this, it's this person's last day, and he's aware of that. That's fascinating. Pointed at stuff. There is a heck of a lot more to it than just that. Hey, would you be at all interested? <laughs> hey, yo, he said you want to see the inside of a van. That's one hell of a sell right there. <laughs> Damn, how many days has it been for him to learn how to play piano like that? Flame of her passion for you, Fred. <laughs> you are the best. No, you are the best. Rita, this is Debbie and Fred. I don't know why I thought that was Michael Shannon. Is that him? Is that Michael Shannon? Is, is that the Shen? Is that the is that him? First victim. Phil Connors, come on up here. I wonder how how much of this is planned. Like how much of this does he know is gonna happen? Or is this just like one of the newer ones? Ten dollars. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. Thirty. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, let's not spoil it. <laughs> oh, let's not. Oh, I got that. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. That guy is a problem. <laughs> All right, let's see what's happening here. Oh, please, not again. Oh, that is a great song. No, it's not. No, don't listen to this man. I was mm. about to say, I was like, that's different. Holy crap. What? What plot device was that? Anything different is good. Mm. If this could be real, good. <laughs> yeah man you you freaking won the lottery on that one <laughs> you won the best bet for this he broke out of it i don't know how he did that <laughs> i think this is just like by the book movie <laughs> but I'm happy he's out of that. He would have lost his mind. It would have been a horrible fate. <laughs> All right, everybody. And that is the end to Groundhog Day. All right, everybody. We just got done Groundhog Day. I'm going to be real with y'all. This was a pretty solid movie. I didn't really write as much onto this because I, I'm going to be a little bit more honest with y'all. If y'all don't crucify me and kill me or anything like that. But yeah i mean this is like one of those films where i don't know you guys have to let me know you guys have to let me know maybe this one just wasn't as um i guess fit for what we were i guess trying to talk about when it comes to screenwriting i know it's a fun concept and i think that i had more fun with the concept rather than the actual aspects of filmmaking not to say that there weren't any i mean obviously there were some beautiful shots here and there and the direction was pretty solid for what the concept was but it wasn't anything really where it was like oh yeah that's like I didn't notice that or i didn't see that coming or uh, this and that and this and that it's um what i will say though is that it's really cool seeing uh, Edge of Tomorrow first and then seeing Groundhog Day. And Groundhog Day being much more of like a human experience, whereas, you know, Edge of Tomorrow is more so of like a, uh, more geared for the actual story it's trying to tell. And I could tell that this story, it's more towards like you getting something out of it. So that way, when you walk out of the theater, you can, you know, not only remember that you had a pretty, great time laughing but you can carry some 
good qualities with you outside of the theater and that is never a bad thing i i think that's like a very powerful thing if not one of the most powerful things art in general can do to a person but yeah i'm really curious to see how you guys felt about this for the first time because yeah, i know it's it just hits different because because i know the concept i know the concept so all the the i guess the fun jives that were happening um I guess I I came into it with a level of like understanding like okay this is how the flow is and everything like that. I will say though, it was very interesting seeing the the different the different stages that he went through. I wasn't expecting him to get to the point where he was just gonna start <laughs> he just was gonna start ending himself multiple times. It got real dark when it came to that, but I mean it's like such a human thing. I mean, if you're if you're a human and you're stuck into a situation like his, yeah. So I'm, I'm glad that they even went that far as to do that, and to also find uh, a deeper motive for his character. You know, I mean, his character when you started off with him is very um, sarcastic. You know, doesn't take a lot of things too seriously, and doesn't take this event too seriously. But you know, obviously through this effect um he's able to come out of it understanding and appreciating the smaller things in life and just being a good person and how just being a good person and just being able to help other people and maybe trying things and just trying different things um can just really improve your life and i think that's a powerful thing to put into a film especially into a concept like this because i know even despite we're not living through the same days every single day sometimes we can feel that way sometimes it feels like time is just passing us by or that every day is just an endless cycle um and so this film does a really cool job with hopefully advocating the you know the practice of doing things differently of maybe going up and talking to this person or talking to your crush or taking piano lessons and hopefully not paying a thousand dollars for it but um <laughs> you know it's it's those things that i really do feel as though even i don't have a lot to say or have a lot to write down in terms of filmmaking does not mean that this as a film doesn't uh have the umph to motivate and inspire and uh, just 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 provide a really good message from it and at the end of the day that's what it's about you know leaving the theater and hopefully that you can take something with you from that experience so again i hope that you guys enjoyed this i'm very interested in your thoughts to this um yeah guys i appreciate it as always stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started purple jacket pocket full of weed everything that i should ever need Grab some matches cause they give them free Just like my time Hair pulled back in the backseat